just like any other Japanese film, it's very dark, it's the atmosphere is just overwhelming, and I like that. <laughs> Hi guys, I just finished watching Cairo, 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 I believe. It is Pulse, um, the Japanese film. There is also an American remake, which I thought I had seen. I'm sure I own, but I don't think I have seen it now because after the storyline in this movie, I think I would have remembered it. <laughs> Firstly, I do want to say that I am filming this today on Friday. But um, I'm actually going to Singapore today um, for a little weekend holiday. My intentions were to watch the next two days when I'm in Singapore or even just on the plane and record why I'm there. But uh, unfortunately, I'm really not, I don't know, I'm like getting a little bit worried about the internet situation over there, having time to watch a film and film and having time to watch a film and then record and then edit and then upload. Uh, and yeah, internet and all that kind of stuff. So I hope it's okay with you guys. I'm actually going to watch two films, <laughs> more films today, and then I'm gonna record them now and then I'll put them up on the right days. Just wanna be honest with you guys and Frank, um, and if you see Snapchats or whatever of me in Singapore, that's why, uh, which is so exciting. But anyway, let's talk about this movie now and we'll talk about that later. So this film was really interesting. I really love the concept. It is about two different groups of people who are kind of discovering that there is a way to become a ghost. That's how I would phrase it. I feel like the blurb phrased it about how it's through like, technology and blah 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 but it is a Japanese film and of course <laughs> Japanese have uh, with their newer films have such a great way of incorporating technology and ghosts so I don't think it's anything new in like it coming from you know like the ring you know what I mean like she's coming through the TV and most of them have you know um, phones in them and elevators so I really don't feel like the film leans too much on technology although that is incorporated in the film I really love the idea of a lonely ghost and being alone and that kind of like the the ideas that the film is trying to portray is awesome and I really got into it it's very romantic it's very a ghost story obviously well before the time um, and the music really plays a big aspect in that as well because it's got that really theatrical type music something really interesting I found uh, recently with these kind of films is foreign films uh, is that they cut straight on the music which is so weird if you know this theatrical music is playing throughout the scene and then it goes to another scene instead of having that music play over the transition shots to the next scene it cuts straight to it which I think is so weird and so jarring but also just it just gives it a feel of foreign film I like really noticing those little things and then thinking about how that they could be incorporated into American film or Australian film or whatever I felt like this film although it had some really cool ideas and originality I felt like the characters there's a lot of them and it was a little bit over complicated because in this one the story and the idea are so cool uh, I would rather them just like kind of piece into one story instead of separating it to two different people who like um, you know find out the same thing this film also uses a lot of locations which again I'm not really surprised by but it's just a really interesting how much budget goes into location work in these type of films instead of you know the actual special effects whatever uh, so that's really interesting and it makes it a lot more realistic and obviously just like any other Japanese film it's very dark it's the atmosphere is just overwhelming and I like that <laughs> pretty much this is a very elaborate story and it's a little bit over complicated in some areas so pay attention when you're watching this if you haven't seen it before it's well worth it and uh, it's such a good break from uh, the Hollywood storytelling um, temples I really like this film check out pulse I don't think the American one will definitely won't do it justice I've seen the ratings but uh, this film is a seven I'll give it a 7 score, so I'd, I can't imagine that the Pulse, other Pulse would um, live up to that without me knowing about it. Uh, and I do believe that Kristen Bell is in the other one, which is so weird. Anyway, I really enjoyed this film, and if you haven't checked out the original, I definitely recommend it. As Japanese horror films, if you want to be scared, this one is scary. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys very soon for another 31 Days of Horror. Bye.